Okay, I'm now going to add a fringe to my greens and because they're fairly regular symmetrical sort of shapes I'm going to use another method to add the verts called the extrude and scale method. Now the advantage of this over the terrain painter is there's no danger of adding rogue verts in which happens from time to time with a terrain painter and also we won't have to turn a single edge. So, to do this, I'm going to select the green, Terrain, Region Select, set it to Extrude, and I'm just going to click and let go. Now, all I have to do now is select Scale, it's on Uniform, and we're on the XY axis on the top view. And just click and hold and drag. And there we go. We've created our fringe. Now, if the green's completely round, you'll get a completely symmetrical fringe. But because this green goes in and out, it's not a complete circle. Some of the verts, obviously, have got a bit distorted. Some are nearer, some are further away so our fringe isn't quite right so we just need to go around now with a vertex move and just move any verts that have got a bit distorted if your greens are long shape you'll find uh, the ends will be stretched so you'll get wider fringe and along the sides it will be narrower so You just got to go around and touch it up a bit but uh, for the most part it's an ideal method of creating a fringe and that'll do and uh, it's just a matter of adding the fringe texture now and sharpening it back up again so we'll go face find a fringe texture. Oops, I've applied it to the green. Good one. Always helps if you select it first, Les. There we go. Select the fringe and add. I think it might be sharp. Let's just check top. Oh, sharp edges. Yeah, we haven't lost the uh, sharp edges by extruding that way, so there's not even a need to sharpen the edges. Now, another thing I use this for is for tees, so they're a similar regular shape so extrude and scale works well with those if I was making a a raised T an elevated T if I take this so let's select this face here and I'll raise it up so we want to go move uh, on the Z axis this time so I'll use this screen and pull it up What you'll find, because this uh, T is sharp, I've sharpened the edge to create the curve, we're getting a bit of a sharp angled edge to the T. I'd like that to be more curved. So what I really need is another row of verts around with a sharpness of naught so that it gently pulls it round into a curve. So again, we can use the extrude and scale method here. So... I scale that, uh, click extrude, and scale. Again, you can see 
what I mean the longer ends we're getting more of a, a wide area and narrower at the sides so we can move those around but it's not so important for a, a T because we're just trying to soften the the slope we're not actually going to see how wide this is so unlike a fringe where you can see it because it's a different texture we don't really need to move these but I'm going to get a more uniform effect if they're regular so I'm just going to move them around so this time I'm going to make this rough the same as the outside texture so I think it's deep rough actually um, I'll just select no it is just normal rough so I'll select I'll just unsharpen the edge first before I turn it to rough because uh, it's easier to do while it's a separate texture so I'll go edge perimeter and we'll select in the middle and that selects the outside edges but I want to keep the inside edge sharp because it's holding our T texture in a nice curve so I'm now going to press the control key to subtract and click inside this one and it will subtract the perimeter of this from the perimeter of this one so we've just got the outside edge selected now so I can now set it to zero and then all I've got to do is face this region with the rough the same as outside and there we've got a nice softer slope to the top of our T. Extrude and scale. Quite useful.